six months You'll get your picture in the Cavity Free Club Cavity Free Club We're on location at Dr. Elliot's house <laughs> We're gonna be talking about pacifiers today And so Emmy, my daughter, only gets her passy while she's in bed um, so if she's napping or she is going to bed for the night, then she has her passy. She really doesn't even get it. She's not allowed to have it outside of her room. Once we do our ritual and our routine in the morning when she wakes up, she reads her books. Um, she knows where passy has to go. Bye-bye. So the, the take-home message is, it, just like anything else, like sleep training, you know, this is just passy Thumb training. Sucking. So you just need to... Um, they may not like it. So when they're used to having it all the time up until age one, those first few weeks, maybe even a month, they might not love it. So she just woke up. And so parents ask me this all the time. How do we stop the pacifier? What do we do, Emmy? Where does your patsy go? Take your patsy out. <laughs> Are you supposed to have your patsy in? Come on, say bye-bye, patsy. Bye-bye, patsy. Say bye-bye. Yeah. There you go. Good girlie. What a good girlie. Emmy doesn't get a patsy. After 12 months, I say start leaning in it. No patsy um, outside of the crib. Three, they can still be pretty addicted and it you know can have things like the passy fairy come and pay a visit and you can um, cut up cut the a vertical slit in the passy you know to get rid of it you could um, go to it there's some toy stores that you say okay we're gonna drop off passies and they're gonna buy a toy with it and you'll save like. braces maybe definitely surgeries later on and you're gonna be <laughs> way ahead of the game if you listen to dr. Elliot yeah.